Police in Berlin looking for the weapon used in a double murder. The suspect, Nicholas Toonstra, behind bars waiting his first court appearance. Jonah Kaplan reports from Green Lake County. Four days later, investigators still working hard about this case because they haven't found the weapon yet. Still, they're confident enough to label this domestic violence at its worst. This homicide is once again domestic violence related. So to our community, if you know of domestic violence taking place, tell somebody. Officers booked this man, Nicholas Toonstra, for the murder of his estranged wife, Melissa. Police think he also killed another man. Witnesses found Melissa's blood-covered body on Saturday outside her apartment. Detectives interviewed Nicholas then, but only last night did police put him in handcuffs. A lot of factors go into to release, not to release. Certainly our district attorney is uh, the one person that we take uh, our evidence, our statements, what we have. Investigators confirmed today that the Toonstras only separated recently, and the other victim was Melissa's new boyfriend, Justin Daniels. The Toonstra's eight-year-old daughter, found Sunday at her grandparents' house, is now cared for by family services. Their daughter, the eight-year-old, is probably the top victim, you know, other than the deceased in this. And certainly uh, her protection and welfare to us in the police department is first and foremost. Again, police imploring everyone here to look out for this weapon, handgun. That's the only description that officers offered today. Still, only 12 officers on the entire police force. This could take time. In Berlin, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. Toonstra is expected to make his first appearance in court tomorrow afternoon.